We're gonna do Gemini next. Okay, we just did Cancer. Oh, it was such a beautiful reading. Okay, all right, now I am gonna do Gemini. Gemini, happy Easter. Woo, Uranus energy, okay. Now for some of you, this is your Scorpio or Taurus. Okay, now, what about that? What about that? Let's use these pink names here. Scorpio or Taurus? What about that? I want to know. Okay, so if you've been giving a lot of energy to work, um, it's suggesting create space for love because I feel like it will benefit you. Now, what's on the bottom? Woo, this is on the bottom. Okay, this is Princess of Pentacles. So I feel like in the spring, so you could, okay, this is for one person. You could uh, have a, a older wife, I mean, not an older, but a wife that you had a child with, and they're, they may not be showing it to you, and it may be a big surprise to you that they really deeply love you, even though, um, what is that, sleeping in different bedrooms? Is that what that is? All right, so hold on. Okay, so we got the Scorpio here. For some of you, it might be a Capricorn. Okay. And they're not showing passion towards you. And this, because they're busy trying to raise the son. Or daughter. Okay, for someone. I want to say it's a son. Yeah, so this like cold in the bedroom. That's what I got. Okay, and the card show. And then on the bottom is two of cups reverse. So that's the shocking news that this person is really hot. Uh, still, I, I don't know if hot would be the word, but uh, still deeply loves you. But um, maybe they understand. One reading I did, it was like two people working. They understood that they're both very busy and not creating space for love. Now here is... I feel like it needs to be you, the initiator, Gemini. Okay, now. Now, for some of you, uh, there is some sort of shocking revelation with a child. Okay. adult. I want to say this one is an adult child. It's a different story than this one. Okay. All right. So, But I feel like that's balancing out, even though... Um, now for some of you, that might have been, if you're the female, you might have, uh, had to do tough love, right? Sometimes that's what it takes. Okay. If they push all your buttons and do all kinds of stuff, right? Okay. So there's that coming up. All right. Now what is this? Woo. Okay. So the emperor. Okay. And the Ace of Cups, this feels just like the Cancer energy. So it's like the whole story of the Cancer was moving with new eyes. Okay. So it was like, it felt like Empress energy in the, the Cancer reading. And here is the Emperor. And it feels like new eyes in love. Okay. This doesn't mean finding it in a new person. This means like being content with where you are and making the best where you are and with the lover that you have or married, a partner you married. Okay, and bringing this back, creating space for love. Woo! Okay, seeing with new eyes. Now, this could also represent that period for some of you when Mars was in Gemini. And then um, you could have gone through some stuff, right? Right? Pluto energy. You could have gone through some stuff and some truths may have come out that were shocking, but uh, it was all in the name of love here. Okay. So it was worth it. Okay. Sometimes people have to break down the barriers of around their heart to actually tr turn the wheel and 
Uh, love again. Okay. Woo! Queen of Wands. Okay, so that's like, that's the, the revelation that you're going to be surprised that they would, they're still passionate for you. So you got to figure out a way how to, um, <laughs> how to move with that wand <laughs> and go, right? Okay, even if you were met with resistance. Okay. All right, that's what I'm getting. All right, now, I feel like that Seven of Wands was also, you know, you value your person, but you just had a lot of things on your plate. Okay, so this is like seeing with new eyes in the physical reality and bringing in that abundance. Okay, so balancing out your passion for your person and... Uh, also, while bringing in this lo loving energy. Okay. And there were times when you felt like just walking away from it. And I feel like if you were the one that went uh, gallivanting around, I feel like what this is saying is they're willing to forgive and let bygones be bygones. Okay, so that could be because Easter is today. <laughs> Right? And Jesus is all about forgiveness. Okay, so maybe that's helping. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and that's the thing. It's like you have all kinds of things you, you can give energy to. And I feel like you that's coming to an end. You know uh, what it is you, is important to you now. Okay, so here is the King of Cups. Okay, so I feel like your person here okay now for some of you this is the water sign and you're the feminine here okay whatever uh, okay so but there is going to be abundant times up ahead here yeah I, I, this is a story of not walking away yeah this is like um this is like when the going gets tough, the tough get going, and not abandoning the ship. The ship's coming in. All right. So that's a message. If they left you, they, I almost would say, mm, at some point they will return. Timing is uh, all about spirit, not me. That's not my work. Okay, so here's Nine of Pentacles. Okay, now that's interesting. Okay, now if you're single and, okay, the cancer reading was like Fly Girl, the song, I think it was Missy Elliott, and it was like, I don't need a, uh, I don't need a boyfriend to tell me where the party is. Okay, so. This is uh, someone who's a Cancer who is in love with an independent woman. That's what I'm getting. And it could be a Pisces. Okay. And there was a time when you didn't see them as so positive. Okay. So that's for someone. Okay. And you were had indecision about... And you, you were trying to figure out a strategy how to work it out. But you couldn't figure it out. Why? Okay, too many things, giving energy to too many things. Okay, and you might have felt vulnerable, like, okay, this is a statue of David, and he's completely naked, right? So you might have felt too vulnerable, so every time you get too vulnerable, you were running. That's someone. I want to say it's a masculine. Could have been them. All right, now. Okay, so this is like, uh, four swords reverse action but feeling like in the bedroom uh, you could have questioned your own uh, performance and that could have uh, had your mind in a, in a funk okay that was getting in the way of love right feeling like some other bedroom somewhere is going to be better than where you are something like that's coming up all right now what about that okay so communication is key and fast communication. It's like they're suggesting don't 
toil in your mind and just communicate instead of guessing and the sun will rise okay all right so there may have been some aspect of love that you felt like you just wanted to throw out the window okay but what I'm getting with this is there's that one person no matter how many loving cups are offered there's that one person that just lingers in your soul Woo! <laughs> i scared my dog <laughs> okay all right uh ten of swords reverse so whatever was painful you're releasing that now for some of you that could have been <laughs> uh finance stuff and your head's going crazy okay uh, i just did my taxes so okay so that could have been taxes right back here pluto right or scorpio uh that's death and taxes and whatever so but here's the sunny day okay the sun's coming in okay so whatever it is the message is there is a positive thing that comes out of all experiences. Okay, and so move with that wisdom that you've gained. And I feel like this is you could connect with anyone. That's what I'm getting. You have that ability. Okay. And I'm getting like 10th house. If you're into astrology, so you might go check that. Okay, or do your chart and check the 10th house. Okay. All right, now for some of you, this is a Leo or someone with Leo cusping Virgo or Leo. This could be your energy harnessing some of that Leo energy to um, shine to the world, right? It's like I am the light of the world, right? Okay. Woo! The next card is Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so if you've been in a funk... This message is, just like the cancer, um, everything that you've been dreaming of, they're even working with you to bring in something even greater. So, all things are possible through the one within. Okay, so that's the message. All right, let's get, um, since we had water energy, let's see here. What does it say? blooming opportunities okay you got the ten of pentacles blooming opportunities nine is completion okay all right let's see Woo! dna activation okay so be careful what you're ingesting in your mind and what you're ingesting in your mouth three six nine Woo! okay now, for some of you, it could have felt like a course correct, but then remind yourself three, right? Um, remind yourself that there are no wrong paths. It's just a long path, short path. <laughs> okay, so authentic communication. It's like um, assessing what you speak to the world. I'm getting that. Okay. Priestess of purity. So for some of you, you or your person could have gone through some sort of purification process. Okay, now this could be you. And that could be like, um, woo, rainbow light temple. Okay, so that could be through this purification process, right? And that could just be interacting with your person. Um, it's like raising your energy and then uh, activating higher outcome for yourself okay that's nice okay so let's get a pearl of wisdom well let's get one of these love message who is that okay so this is for the couple and this is for the single person who's looking to connect with a water sign. Okay, that's what they said. Okay, now, thank you for everything that you do. Or earth sign. Okay, we did have Taurus, but I feel like that was for the married person. Okay, thank you for everything you do. That's the marriage person. 
Okay, I love every minute we are together, and that's that's over here. Uh, I think that's in the middle. Yeah, both single and couples. Okay, so that's for the um, married person. That's for the married person, and that goes in the middle for ma married and single. That could go in the middle. Right, and that goes in the middle too. So it's like, so because when you come together, it's so um, wonderful, uh, make space for it. All right. Dream bigger. We are the perfect blend. Actually, you can. I got actually, you can take the lead for someone. Make waves, mermaid. Okay, so I'm getting that as a Pisces. So I feel like you, they are waiting for you to give them a, um, look at all the flowers in a starfish. I feel like what this is telling me is like you're waiting for them to give you uh, the green light, but they want you, they've already gone through this kind of purification process. They want you to be the initiator. Okay. And then, uh. I feel like that's for the Pisces. I believe in you. Yeah, no matter what's through thick and thin, no matter what's happened, they still have faith in what you're creating. <laughs> okay, and I'll leave you with that.